Alright then my friends, so we've now seen how to add new documents, we've seen how to find documents using the find method, and also how to delete documents as well. Now I want to show you how to update documents, and we do that using one of two methods. We either use the method update one or update many. Now before we do that, I want to just list out all the books we have, so I'm using this find method, press enter, and we can see all the books we have, right? So say for example, I want to update this book right here, and I just want to update a couple of fields. I want to update the pages to maybe 350 instead of 300, and the rating, knock it down to 8. And to do that, we're going to use this object ID right here to tell MongoDB which book that we want to update. Now since we just want to update one book, then we're going to use the update one method, right? So grab this object ID first of all, copy that, and let's come down here, I'm going to clear the screen, and we'll say db.books.update1, all right? So this takes in two arguments. The first one is an object, and this is where we specify which book we want MongoDB to update. Now we're going to base that update, or base that find, on the ID of the book. So I'm going to say underscore ID, and then set it equal to this object ID right here, okay? Now you could use a different field if you wanted to, like the title, but then if you had two books or two documents with the same title, then you won't know exactly which document it's going to update, because there's two of them, right? And it will just update the first one it finds. With the object ID, it's unique, so it's going to definitely update the book we want it to. So that's the first argument, we're telling it which book or which document to update. The second argument is also an object, and in here we specify which fields that we actually want to update. Now to do this, we use an operator in MongoDB called set. So remember, all operators start with the dollar sign and then set. And what this allows us to do is basically set as many different fields on this document as we want. So the value of this is an object, and inside here we just list the different key value pairs of the different fields we want to update. So say for example, I want to update the rating. Well, I just say rating, and then whatever I want to update it to. So I can knock it down to an 8, whereas at the minute it's 9. All right? So that's the first property I want to update. Now, if I wanted to, I could leave it as this. I could press Enter, and it's just going to go ahead and update that one field. But I also want to update another field. So we comma separate them. The next one is the pages, and I'm going to increase that to be 360 pages. And that's it. That's all I want to do, just update those two fields. So if I press enter now, it's going to do that. I can see right here we get a response, and it says modified count is 1. So we know that one document was updated. Now let's list them. I'm going to say db.books.find and run this. And if we look for the color of magic, which is right here, we can see the rating is now 8, and the pages is 360. Awesome. So that's how we can update one book using the update one method. But now what about if I want to update many documents at once? So let me just run the find command again so we can see all of the books. And imagine I'd made a spelling error on Terry Pratchett right here. So we have this book by him and also one up here. And I needed to change the author name. Let's pretend he only has one T at the end. In fact, he might only have one T, I don't know. Either way, I need to update this author property on these two books, right? So basically, any book where the author value is Terry Pratchett, spelled like this, I want to update. So I can use the update many method to do that. So let's do that. I'm going to clear that again, and then we'll say db.books, and then we use update many, like so. Again, we have two arguments. The first one tells MongoDB which books to update, and this time we're going to use the author property to tell MongoDB that because we want to update any book where the author property is equal to Terry Pratchett. So let's put that in here, like so, Terry Pratchett, and then we do the updates. So again, we say set, like so, then another object, and we want to update the author property to Terry Pratchett with 1T, all right? So if I do that, it's going to update every document where the author property is this value right here, and it's going to change the author property to this value. So let me run this, and um, we can see now the modified count is 2. So let's run that find command again to see all the books, and we can see Terry Pratchett has changed right here, and also if we scroll up right here as well. So we've seen now how to update a single book, and also many books using those two methods. 
So there's a couple more things I want to show you, and these include MongoDB operators, and we're going to look at a couple of different ones. So the first one is going to be the ink operator, and we use that to increment something by a certain amount. So say, for example, let me just find all the documents again. Say I want to increase the number of pages on this book right here. Now I can increase it by one or two or three by using the ink operator. And this is good for if you don't know what the current value is, and it could be for some kind of score maybe, if you're keeping track of score, someone does something good and you increment by two points or five points or whatever. So we're gonna use this operator right now to increase this just by a couple of pages. So let me clear that first of all. And in fact, I'm gonna run it again just so we can find the object ID. So it's this George Orwell one that we want right here. So let me copy this object ID and then clear this. And down here, we're gonna say db.books and then dot update one. And in here, the first argument is an object where we specify the ID of the book we wanna update, which is this object ID right here. Let me just delete one of those spaces. All right, and the second argument is gonna be what property we wanna update. So remember, we want to update the pages property, but we don't need to set the property this time. We don't need to say set anymore. Instead, we use ink because we're just gonna increment one of the properties or one of the fields. So we say ink, and then this is an object, and we say what field we wanna increment. Well, I'll say the pages, and we wanna increment it by two, for example. So if I press enter now, we can see the modified count is one. It has updated one document. And if I try to find all the books again, we can see the pages property right here is incremented by two. Now, what if we want to decrement? What if we want to reduce the amount of pages? Well, we can just use a minus number. So let me go up twice and then change this to minus two and then press enter. And we can see again, the modified count is one. And if we try to find all the books again, we can see it's gone back down to 300. So that was the first operator I wanted to show you, the ink one. And we use that to increment or decrement a value of a certain field. The next couple of operators I wanna show you are the push and pull operators. And we use those to either push objects or push rather values to an array. And that could be the genres array, for example, in our book, or to take values out of an array. So if I wanted to take a value out of the array, I would use the pull operator. So let's have a look at these in action. So first of all, I'm going to find all the books again so we can see which one I wanna update. And we can see right here, the bottom one, the George Orwell one, we have three genres, sci-fi, dystopian, fantasy. Now, imagine I want to take out the fantasy um, element inside this array. Well, I can use the pull operator to do that. So we already have this object ID on our clipboard. So let's just say db.books and then .update1 to update a single document. The first argument is an object where we specify the ID. So I'm just gonna paste in this ID. And then the second argument is an object where we specify what we wanna update. Now this time, we're gonna use the pull operator. And this is gonna be an object. And in here, we specify what field we want to pull an element from. And that's gonna be the genres field. And what do we wanna pull from it? Well, it's gonna be fantasy. So let's type out that. And then let's press enter. And hopefully now we can see, yep, the modified count is one. And if we try to find all the books again, we can see at the bottom, now we've taken out the fantasy uh, string from the genres array, awesome. So let's add it back in. I'm gonna run this command again, but I'm gonna change pull this time to push. So we're now pushing a new item into the genres array, okay? And that's gonna be fantasy again. So let's press enter. And now if we find all the books again, we should see that fantasy is back inside this genre's array. Awesome. So there's a few different ways that we can update documents in MongoDB. Now, just quickly, I wanna show you one more thing which kind of links to this whole idea of pushing or pulling items to and from arrays. So that is another operator called each, and that allows us to either push or pull multiple different items to and from arrays. So say I want to add two more different genres to the book we just updated. Well, we can do that using the each operator. So what I'm gonna do is just go up a couple of times to get the previous command I used, where we're just pushing this one genre right here, okay? Now, instead of just adding one this time, I want to add several. So what I can do is another object right here and then use 
another operator which is called each all right and what each does is take an array as a value and it allows us to then push several items to the genres because it's going to push each of the items in this array all right so let's just say keep it simple one and also two so they're the two genres just one and two i've just made them up doesn't really mean anything but i just wanted to show you how this works so we can see the modified count is one and if we try to find all the books again we can see down here we have these two extra genres one and two all right so hopefully now you've got a better understanding of how you can update documents in mongodb